The Joyful Nation, with the Matterhorn in the background for some reason. Is that a watchtower on top of the mountain? Evasive form of child abuse. The woman's hands close around the baby's throat. Then she presses, slowly strangling the baby. Strangling the baby is also slang for masturbation. The defenseless infant struggles. Just in time, the woman relaxes her grip. The baby gasps for air but survives the assault. Before long, the woman grabs the tiny throat again, starting the torture all over. Reminds me of my mother. Again, she lets go and leaves the infant gasping. What you just read describes the suffering like that experienced by an unborn child denied a blood transfusion by his Jehovah's Witness parents. Oh, it said something else. Just turn the page, brothers. Food. I serve as a traveling minister of Jehovah's Witnesses, accompanied by my wife. I'm not gay, after all. We don't like to burden our host with a lot of rules on food care, so we are exposed to digestive problems. You can well imagine how helpful this article, June 22, 1989, has turned out to be for us. We really want to thank you for thinking of everything that is good for God's people. RP Venezuela, where you can imagine, someone like me has dirty blood-stained diarrhea after every meal. Avoiding rape. The woman quoted in your article, August 22nd, 1989, said that she was able to avoid being raped because of Jehovah's help. Was able to avoid being raped because of Jehovah's help. Does this mean that those who are raped do not have God's help? Why would he help one person and not another? The Bible does not say that God miraculously shields people from harm. Quite to the contrary. He will literally step back and do nothing. You can almost bank on it. God's laws to Israel indicated that rape would befall even faithful servants of God. Rape is just a reality of life. All right? Accept it. He, the God in the sky that you worship three times a week and spend 70 hours pioneering for, isn't going to help you. He will literally stand there and watch you get raped even though a minute amount of effort on his part could stop this terrible disaster from happening in your life, he literally will watch it and do nothing. So, just accept that. You give everything to him, you worship him, you pray to him, you serve him, you've given up your family, you don't even talk to your families anymore, you quit your job to go out and service for him, go door to door with magazines, and he, in return, will sit back and watch you Get raped. He's sitting in his easy chair with a bucket of popcorn, and he will he is watching all things. He just doesn't act upon it. He will he sees he sees that the rape is occurring, and he will just see it through to the end. God However, God has provided us with scriptural direction, which was really good when you're getting raped. After a good hard rape, some spiritual direction is as good as a band-aid. It can work for our benefit if we apply it. See, even rape has a silver lining. If we are raped, by the way, butt rape is the most painful. If you are raped and you, your butthole has been ripped and sliced like a piece of paper, you do have the benefit of scriptural knowledge and direction. So it's not all bad. And the Bible-based advice on resisting rape Provided to be a protection for the woman in question. You see, this woman got away somehow. She struggled and scratched the man's face and escaped. And yes, her pants were torn off. And yes, she was halfway raped. He got a couple of fingers up in there. But uh, appropriately, she thanked God for providing this helpful information. 
If you're one of the few women that does escape uh, a rape somehow, you should get on your knees and thank God for the information that made that possible. It was provided to us by me, Ed. So, I hope that cleared a few things. Cursing. The article young people ask, how can I resist the urge to curse? Arrived just in time. It was in the nick of time, really. With a mate who was opposed to Christianity? Sometimes it's all I can do to bridle my tongue. The thoughts of cursing have caused me to feel ashamed and unworthy of God's love. This wonderful article gave me the guidance I need to resist the temptation curse. I was concerned about your comments regarding the Bishop of Galloway in the article on the Lockerbie disaster. In saying that he had bitter words for God by asking, Why did God let this happen? You are misrepresenting him. A.W. Britain. We accurately reported the bishop's word, says quoted in the New York Times of December 26, 1988, which was a spectacular edition, by the way. Since then, however, we have received a transcript of the bishop's sermon, and it would appear that his words were actually intended to echo the thoughts of others, not his own. Nevertheless, the bishop's words were quoted should to show that he did not give a Bible-based answer to that question, bitch. Nor did he point to the Bible's hope for the dead. Ed. Capital letters. We'll let that be a lesson to you. It is, um... I was shocked by the cover of the October 22nd, 1989 issue. I've always found the magazines to be so upbuilding. But this issue shocks and confuses me. Isn't it wrong to have satanic symbols in one's home in any form? No! Not if it's a watchtower. It can't be wrong. It's from PW, which stands for Pig Wiggly. <laughs> the subject of Satanism is indeed a shocking. Nevertheless, we feel obliged to warn readers of Satan's designs. It seems like it was your designs. And at times this involves presenting subjects that some might find offensive. I seem to remember something about how being better to have a millstone tied around your neck than to stumble sw Ah, it doesn't apply to this day. That example does not apply. This is Jehovah's organization. That lies. As a school nurse, dealing with the subject of headlights on a regular basis. I would agree with most of your article. Unfortunately, you suggest shaving the head as a more effective way of treating a child. I personally would see shaving a child's head to rid it of lice as a dramatic and unnecessary. I also do not recommend the use of kerosene on the scalp. Oh my god. It is toxic and flammable. <laughs> toxic and flammable, folks. And surely hundreds of cases of head lice are better than one burnt child. You're talking to Jehovah's Witnesses, remember. We appreciate these comments. Awake does not recommend medical treatments. Let me read that again. Awake does not recommend medical treatments. All right. This central journal is... What about blood transfusions? So this is something not right here. Since our journal is circulated worldwide and is read by people that may not have access to modern treatments, so we merely reported on home remedies that some have claimed were successful in treating lice infestation. Buying organ sauce. This is also a good sauce. Awake has unfortunately repeated a groundless rumor, which is quite understandable given the fact that it appears as if, as if the European Parliament had given its imprimatur to these reports. These rumors have done damage to the humanitarian cause of adoption. TL, U.S. Information Agency, United States. The March 22nd, 1989 Awake item entitled Horrifying Organ Source was based on a resolution published in the European Parliament, a credible organization. However, that organization now claims that it was the victim of misinformation. 
Awake has since investigated matters and learned that while there were several well-publicized arrests in Guatemala for child trafficking back in 1987, there is no proof that ch children were being sold for organ transplants. Horrifying organ source! <laughs> The Joyful Nation. The baby gasps for air but survives the assault. Before long, the woman grabs the tiny throat again, starting the torture all over. Reminds me of my mother. Again, she lets go and leaves the infant gasp. Then she presses, slowly strangling the baby. Strangling the baby is also slang for masturbation. The defenseless infant struggles. Just in time, the woman relaxes her grip. With the Matterhorn in the background, for some reason. Is that a watchtower on top of the mountain? Evasive form of child abuse. The woman's hands close around the baby's throat. 